welcome you all for today's session memory management so now we are going to discuss about memory management so memory management is nothing but it is to execute a program all or part of an instruction must be in a memory all or a part of the data is needed by the program must be in memory it determines what is in memory and optimizing cpu utilization and computer response to users so the activities of memory management is keeping track of which parts of memory are currently being used and deciding which process to be taken care and also allocating and deallocating memory space as needed so storage management os provides uniform logical view of information storage whereas abstracts physical properties to logical storage unit which is said to be as file and each medium is controlled by device like disk drive tape and drive varying properties include access speed capacity data transfer and access method which is named as sequential or random so the file system management here is usually organized into directives it access control on most systems to determine who can access what is to be done os activities include creating and deleting files and directories primitives to manipulate files and directories mapping files on to secondary storage backup files on to stable that is non volatile storage we know very well about volatile and non volatile so the most storage management is usually disks used to store data that does not fit in main memory or data that must be kept for a long period of time so the proper management is of central importance so the entire speed of computer operation hangs on disk subsystem and its algorithms so the activities of os is like free space management storage allocation and disk scheduling some storage need not be fast like tertiary storage which includes optical storage magnetic tape and still must be managed by os or applications then varies between ohm Right, that is nothing but write once, read many times, and write uh, once and read may read once and write many times. Okay. So the performance of various levels of storage is mentioned here. So these are the performance of various uh, levels of storage. Whereas the movements between levels of storage hierarchy can be explicit or implicit. And this is a dual core design that is a multi chip and multi core it has a common memory but uh, two cpus that is cpu 1 and cpu 0 so systems containing all chips chases containing multiple separate systems even those are separate systems memory is common which consists of two cpus right in each cpu we have registers and cache memories so the cluster system is nothing but a peer system like multi multi processor mi mi micro processor systems but multiple systems working together usually sharing storage via a storage area or network which is rep represented as san that provides a high availability service which survives failure asymmetric two types of clustering one is asymmetric and another one is symmetric so some clusters are for high performance computing that is applications must be written to use parallelization some have distributed lock manager to avoid confusion so this is the clustered system which consists of number of uh, computers connected together that shares a common memory that shares a common memory okay so here there are two types one is multi programming the operating system structure is of multi programming and time sharing so multi programming is a batch system and time sharing is a multi tasking 
in multi programming is needed for efficiency like single user multi programming organizing job a subset of total jobs one job selected and run via job scheduling then it has to wait wait delay right time sharing is nothing but response time process time cpu scheduling swapping then virtual memory so this is a layout memory layout for multi programmed system like uh, operating systems job 1 job 2 job 3 job 4 which has um, both uh, combination of both hardware interrupt and software interrupt and this is a multitasking environment which is carefully used to most recent value where it can be used like hard disk main memory cache and hardware registers so these are all about uh, memory management thank you